Okay. Getting ready to do a circuit change on Taylor. I'm also eating M&Ms. So we do a pediatric circuit. So you'll have the blue tube, which you will need to eventually connect to the white tubing, which is the one where the peep valve is on. There's a peep valve. Uh, Ballard. That's the Ballard that we use for. And then um, this is what I call the flex tube connector. I don't know if it has another name. This is a meter dose inhaler. It's in there somewhere. And then this is the filter that goes on the side of the ventilator. So just take a look at the ventilator. You have um, this is where the peep valve was. So you have three connections to make there. And then here's the filter. And then follow the tubing all the way up to Taylor. Hi, Taylor. And then you're smiling. Thank you. And then this is where you will join them eventually. Um, the HME, she's already changed today, so we'll use that same one. And then this part is the Ballard. So, whenever you're ready, Amy. Actually, you didn't change that. You didn't change what? That HME. Oh, well, we can do that later. Amy and I do this a little different. Both are perfectly fine. But uh, I'll record Amy doing one so you can see two different methods. And yes, I hear you, Mackenzie. Do you need on here too? Yes, good morning. So to watch what Amy's doing, she got out the uh, MDI adapter. Yeah, that short piece of flexible tubing. Thank you. Is uh, for when we use the um, water chamber humidifier, which we don't use anymore now that we're using the HME, which is a heat moisture exchanger. So the that's the meter dose inhaler that she's connecting to the end of her blue tube. Mm. Making sure it's closed this one and on tight. Anymore? No. I mean, since we don't have the humidifier, we don't. No, we don't Just need that. extra piece. Extra pieces in ventilator tubing is known as dead space, which in essence reduces your pressure. So whenever you can get rid of that, that would be good. Try to stand back where we can catch all of this without being in Amy's way. So, in her left hand, you have the ventilator end, in her right hand, you have the patient end. So, she's going to. I'll get you at a good angle, don't worry. I'll silence it first. <laughs> So while she's doing this, Taylor's not getting as much pressure, but she's still getting pressure, which I believe is why Amy likes doing one side at a time. That obnoxious noise is to be expected. What did you come across? This it part is tight. Yeah. Oh, the old MDI? Yeah. yeah we'll deal with that later. Well, yeah, that's going to have to be changed when, when you do the Y, I guess. So what she's saying is we had a little difficulty with the, this Y connector is actually part of the white tubing. So the, uh, the meter dose inhaler adapter 
um, was kind of stuck on this side of the Y joint. So since we have to change all of that anyway, when she changes the white tubing, we just left it on there with the blue connected to it, the new blue. So now she's getting the white out. And yes, we refer to things as colors quite often. We know they have other names. There's really no point. So there's the Y in her right hand. And then there's the ventilator end in her left hand. I always try to set the peep first too. Setting the peep valve. So you push in and turn. There are numbers at the end of that. Um, I can never see them, so I'll sh we'll show you the double check. I just turn it a few times till I think it's about right and then double check with the machine. Yeah, there's a, they are on there and there's yeah. a 10. I do it right before the I can't see it. Yeah, so Taylor's on a peep of 8. And it's positive end expiratory pressure. So... I'm not rushing you. Really. I know. Take your time. There's the flex tubing connector, which is this piece on Taylor. It just gives you some wiggle room on the uh, circuit without it pulling on her trach all the time. Uh, and the new HME, we change it out daily. Also noted is uh, it's later in the morning, so Taylor's had a chance to. Hi, baby. Taylor's had a chance to get a lot of her morning secretions out, which are a little thicker. And uh, Amy's already done all of her trait care. So she's good and cleaned out, so we don't have to deal with any of that while we're doing the circuit change. It's just hard to change your focus. It's nice to do one thing at a time. So she's got her Blue tubing is the new one. It doesn't want to stay together, do you? No, she's going to do the white, so I'll come over here. Do you do patient end or machine end first? I do patient end. Okay. Then I'll come back up here where I am. I'll put it where we can see it. So we have the, the new MDI on the Y joint waiting to be attached to the blue and she's already put the flex tube connector at the end of her Y joint. So now she just disconnects it from the ballot. Yeah. Sorry pumpkin. Yeah. Taylor will cough some just because we're jiggling it but she's fine. If she weren't fine as soon as you disconnected that you would hear it in her breathing because it wouldn't be muffled by the tubing at all. So now the old side is just kind of, where'd it go? Laying off here. So now, we get to this. It's not good lighting, but you can take off the old one in there. I'll show you the ends here in a minute. But it will only work one way, so. <laughs> Hold on, Here we go, babe. So one pushes without an end on it, one twists, that kind of thing. So Usually I just try to get them on there and then tighten them. If these are not tightened, the machine doesn't get the readings correctly and you get these really weird alarms. Like low minimum volumes or apneas or that kind of thing. I'll go ahead and grab the old one out while oh, she's working on that. Oh, wait. Where'd the other end go? So, just to show this a little more close, this has where the other one went. Anyway, it has another one too, a clear one that just slips on, but. You can see the ends of them. They're a little bit different, so they fit differently on the circuit. Alright, so that's trash. Yeah, two points. So, now she's just going to change the ballard out. 
They always silence the alarms. Changing the ballard is as easy as that. And I've got the old one. So you can see the end of it. So you have a, an L joint basically. So the one where the suction catheter would be going down goes to patient, Actually, and the know. other side goes to your tubing. Let me add that. Yeah, just for sure. Then we put the HME on. The research says that the closer you get the HME to the patient, the more effective it is. So we put it in front of the Y joint, but a lot of people put it back here. So putting it in front of the Y joint means your MDI adapter is back here. So when you need to get breathing treatments, you have to remove the HME, give the breathing treat, well, reconnect, give the breathing treatment, and then when you're done, then you put the HME back on, which isn't ideal either to interrupt the circuit, but we only have two one breathing treatments, so it's not a huge deal. And that's it, right? Are we done? Except we want to check the peep. Oh yeah, we want to check the peep. Hey, oh my God. <laughs> And she got it on the first try, look at her. So while I'm here, we'll go ahead and just toggle through some others. So these are Taylor's normal settings, a peep of eight, which can be accurately set without the machine. This is her breath per minute. She's at 17, which is right around her average. And tidal volumes at uh, 240, 229. That number jumps around everywhere. When she's sleeping, it hits near the 100 mark. Uh, if we get anything closer to 300 or 400 or more, it's more than likely just the machine's reading incorrectly. Unless, obviously, you're, she's showing you something else. Um, I don't know. I don't remember what all these other numbers anymore, but this is some type of liter, so volume something. This is a, a ratio number. Don't pay attention to that. Actually, I kind of do. If it goes a little higher on the right, then that usually means there's something occluded. Positive inspiratory pressure, 15. If that one hits um, 25 or more, it usually means that uh, her lungs are occluded somewhere with the mucus plug. Mean, uh, mean something pressure, airway pressure probably. Uh, I don't pay attention to that number either. And back to the peak. And then we keep it on the breast per minute just because it's easier to follow. And then you'll see this, this little bar up here is showing patient effort. So a lot of times you can tell if she needs suction just by watching that. And that's it.